In today's video, the places that we store fat. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravello from ProPhysique.com and I'm back in my new location. Still don't have my soundproofing yet, so apologies for the echo, but today's video we're gonna break down the way that body fat is stored and how it comes off. And today's question comes from my Instagram direct message. So if you guys wanna send me a message, go to my Instagram, I'll put it on the screen here for you. Send me a DM and uh, we can discuss it. So for today's question, I wanna talk about body fat and I wanna read the question so you guys understand where I'm coming from. Hey Paul, just had a few questions as I'm trying to shred body fat. I'm currently 72.7 kilograms at approximately 20% body fat, roughly, and wanna get down to 13%. I've calculated my calories and macros to be 2,000 calories at 160 grams of protein, 190 grams of carbs, and 62 grams of fat. I feel as if I've gotten these numbers down pat, but I'm not sure if I'm going about this the right way to lose body fat. I've lost about 15 kilograms in a year, and most of that was in my stomach area. I am still store a lot of fat in the face and some in the chest, and was wondering if these were some of the last places to lose fat. I'm 20 years old, training six days a week, would you be greater appreciated if you give me some advice? Well, I'm happy to give you some advice. First of all, congratulations. Losing 15 kilograms. Now, for those of us in America, we have to multiply that times 2.204. That's gonna be somewhere around, what, 33, 34 pounds in a year? Amazing. That is fantastic. So when you tell me about your diet and your training, it's certainly working. You don't wanna get ahead of yourself. So let's talk a little bit about how body fat is stored because I think that's really the topic at hand here. And it's something that when we start losing weight, we start to ask these questions and we start to get interested in it. And certainly now I've worked with thousands of clients over the years, helping them lose body fat and seeing pictures from week to week. I myself go through many transformations uh, for competition and I see the way that body fat not only comes off, but goes back on. And I've noticed some trends about certain positions for body fat to be in, whether that be when we're really lean and just putting body fat back on, or when we start to get a little heavier, where does that body fat store? So at 20% body fat, you mentioned that you're noticing some in your face, you're still noticing some in your arms and shoulders and chest in this area. And I think at 20%, that's pretty normal. When you get over 20%, and we're getting over 20%, when you're getting into that 25% range, that's when the word obese starts to become used. And so what I notice in that situation is that you'll stop kind of storing fat in your face, arms, shoulders, and chest, and it starts to accumulate even more so in the stomach and lower back area, especially for men. So when you're coming down from 20%, let's say 25 all the way to 20, you're probably noticing a big change in that core area. And I think for the, for the most part, when people start to get way overweight, their body fat is gonna accumulate in a very kind of particular area around their core. So once you start to lose all that body fat, when it, once it gets kind of to a, a place like you're at, I think 20% is probably a good number, 18% around there, then you're gonna to start to notice the next, let's say 10 kilos, it starts to come off your face. Because as you get down to that 12 to 13% number, that's when all the body fat is gonna be gone off your body, other than what's really going on here in your core, lower back, glutes area, thighs, hips, you know, the area closest to our stomach really tends to be the area where the, the most body fat is stored. Now there could be many reasons for this. It could be to protect our organs. It could be because it's easy for the body fat to be created in that area because it's so close to the digestive system. But for whatever reason, this is where body fat is stored. Then once you go through another phase of dieting, you know, once you get below 12% body fat and you're working your way down to a competition physique at say 5%, you'll start to notice that it no longer comes off from the core again. Then your face starts to get really lean. That's when I notice my cheekbones start to really stick out. My jawline becomes more defined. Uh, you know, the veins in my arms start to become really well defined. I can see separation in all my shoulders. And it takes me getting down to 5% or whatever number you wanna call it. I've never actually had it tested. But when I get stage lean, it takes really dieting through the Once you get through that kind of awkward place where your face kind of comes in and you start to look really thin, that's when I start to lose at least that last bit of lower back and lower abdomen fat. And there's not really a magic diet. There's not really a magic approach. It's just consistency over the long term. So for you, my friend, don't question what you're doing. If you're continually losing week over week, 
then your diet is good. And you do something that you, you know that I find to be probably the, the most common trait among successful dieters, and that's you're you're planning your meals ahead of time. So you you know what you're eating every day, and you're not having to think and adjust. You just put it together, you execute it. All you need to do is when you start to plateau, is increase that caloric deficit, whether that's through diet or through motion. Okay, that energy balance is really what it's all about to get through that next level. And you can do it, man. You've already made a, a fantastic transformation. You're looking for questions. The reason you found my channel is because obviously you're you're wanting to do this the right way. And so I just want to commend you on what you've done and let you know that you know what? The next part of this journey, it's gonna be the really fun part because now you're actually gonna to start to see your physique come out. You're gonna to start to see the shape of your muscles, you're gonna to start to see, like you said, your face is gonna change. So just keep it up, man. Just keep going. And if you ever have a question, put it in the comment below. Send me another DM and I'd love to help you. All right, guys. That's going to be it for me today. Again, I'm going to get this office set up. It's going to be really nice, a fancy backdrop. I got all my stuff here from my old office. I uh, just haven't had a chance to set it up yet. So I appreciate, appreciate you guys coming along on this journey with me. And I would like to know below in the comments if you guys would like to see anything that's going on with me or with Pro Physique. I know I come here to answer your questions, but if you think it would be fun to, you know, I don't know, see what's going on with the new office, the new gym, you know, we just finished a transformation challenge. If you'd like some other kind of content besides me just answering questions, I'd love to do that. But I'd like to know what you'd like to see. Would you like to hear about the business, how things are changing and growing? Would you like to know about the other avenues of things that we're doing, other aspects of my life? I don't really share a lot of my personal life on here. I show my kids on my Instagram stories and stuff, and, you know, I do some of that, but, you know, it's maybe it's because I'm 44, I always feel a bit weird about putting out information that's not helping you guys. If you're curious about anything else, just let me know below and I'd love to love to share it and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.